Well, g'day everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Manor Lords. I've got to say, it's nice. It's nice to be home after uh, after a week away, and it's always nice to come home after a week away and uh, and to sit down with a nice cup of coffee and play a game that you absolutely love. So there you go. That's what we're doing. We've got a few things to do in this episode today. I'm loving the, the ability to walk around and check all of this out. We need to get those uh, we need to get those guys to, to 10. Um, and once we've got 10 share, oh, we may, maybe we did. Maybe we did, but we've got a couple of things to do. We do want to um, we do actually want to um, start uh, reconfiguring our industry now because uh, we're getting an influx of uh, like an overflow of wood and uh, like, a, you know, um, planks and stuff into the market. So the prices are going down. And uh, I think Noble suggested the, uh, the thank you, Noble suggested that uh, what we do is uh, we look at reconfiguring our trade and using our timber to, um, to, actually, uh, to actually start making shields and stuff like that. So... Which is and and selling those off as well, which is which is a really good idea. What are those guys doing out there at the moment? They're probably heading over to that bandit camp there, and there's no way that we'll get that. So they will take uh, they will take that. Look at our little village is looking really really good. <laughs> All right, we need families. We need families. We need families in uh, in the fields, in our barley fields. Uh, what have we got there? We've got the malt house being built at the moment. Uh, we've got eight families spare. Now, uh, another thing, and uh, a, a big thank you to, um, um, a very big thank you to Moon, who's, uh, who's, who's quite active in the comments and stuff. I appreciate it very much, sir. Um, he suggested that, uh, we set areas for these, for these woodcutters, which, to be honest, makes so much more sense. Enemy unit has been spotted. That would be... Oh, okay. Okay, where are they? Where are they? They're coming in there. And they're heading... Okay, this is this is an opportunity for us. This is a fantastic opportunity for us. Let's, uh, let's get all of our units. And uh, let's rally them. And we will rally them over on the border whereabouts were they they were over here somewhere weren't they let's rally our troops over here on the road For starters let's get those guys moving oh there we go uh so that is running where did that enemy come from there they are over here no that's our guys <laughs> what am i looking at where where did these guys spawn from hmm Let's have it. Let's have another. Let's have another squeeze. Uh, let's the resources added. Enemy unit spotted over in this corner here. Let's maybe grab all of our uh, all of our troops here. Grab all of our troops. Move them over in this direction here. Uh, this is the raiders. This is our first raid. Let's make everybody walk. Uh, so they will be coming in from over here. All right, they're at ninety-eight percent. All right, troops, let's uh, let's let's get ready for these guys. They're probably going to come in here. So let's uh, let's move up here. Let's get our. Uh, we don't have archers at the moment. We've got our spearmen. We've got our pole arm militia, and we've got our militia footmen, which is pretty good. We've got a pretty good troop. We should be able to. Uh, we should be able to hand this mission complete raiders near they are over here there they are right they are moving let's uh maybe run our troops across there for now it's going to be pretty easy to take these guys out i do believe let's throw uh those guys in there let's throw our spearmen right behind them uh our pikemen can uh can go over here and our militia footmen can can sit up there and we'll uh, we'll wait for these enemies to come in. I do they they may be coming through which way are they which way are they heading? They're heading in that direction there, so 
Uh, so that might be all right. Let's move. Let's move these guys over to here. Let's move them over to there. Let's move uh, our pikemen to here. We'll move you guys into here. There we go. And attack. And you guys attack. You guys can move over here. Alright, this is our first raid, guys. This is our first raid. Brilliant. You guys come over here. Let's get rid of these guys. We should be okay. We should be perfectly fine. Uh, let's maybe bring you guys over there and we will hit them from behind. I think. Over there. And you guys can actually head up here and take start taking these guys out. Uh, I might actually even send these guys up here as well. Alright, lovely. Lovely. We'll have everybody uh, go balanced, I think. We'll have all of our teams go balanced. Yep. Lovely. Alright. We'll all go balanced. Attack. Is our unit... I thought they were routing. I actually thought that they were routing. You guys there, you need to come in and attack these guys. Do we have any more enemies around? I didn't realise when you when you get raided, I didn't realise that it all gets... Uh, I didn't realise that, that they get all... Uh, uh, let's just get them push forward we'll take those guys out i didn't realize that they actually split up i can't see any more enemies i can see the enemies here who are routed and uh they're like in monty python mode run away run away okay it looks like we have successfully achieved that and we are so close to <laughs> Where's the bandit camp? Way over in that corner. Should we move? They're going to move over. Let's let's move our troops over to here, I reckon. I know they're a little bit tired, but we may have the opportunity to get some of this out and to claim this province here, which gives us a rich clay deposit, which is okay. Well, let's start uh, moving towards these guys. I don't know whether we're going to get over there in time. But we will uh, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. We've got everybody selected. Because I think these ones are heading over to this brigands camp. Uh, we can head over to this one. So I might just speed things up a little bit. Get our troops over there as quickly as we possibly can. It's going to take forever for us to get over there. I hope these guys don't get don't come out to help these ones. There we go. Why are they running away? Really strange. They did that previously. They ran away and left their archers to left their archers to uh, to to fight these guys. And the archers are now heading over in this direction here, which is a bit of a uh, which is a bit of a problem. I don't think we're going to make it in time. Bugger. See, they've got both camps. I mean, we had our troops out. We actually had our troops out, which was a which was a massive um, a massive advantage for us, and they were heading over to those guys. Are they going to? Uh, it looks like they're going to actually take the camps. So there's no point. All right, guys. Oh, what a bugger! What a bugger. So frustrating. All right, everybody back here. That is so, so frustrating that we've got to move so far to... Hang on a minute. They've they've moved. Let's get our pole arm guys out here. We may be able to take this camp over here. That is such a pain in the butt, really. It really is. Um, That's going to be balanced in the new patch, by the way. 
that will be balanced in the new patch. So, um, but we can at least remove this camp. And all of you guys there, you can all disband. Got some new family members in there. Let's uh, slow everything down now. We'll grab that. And we will send the resources to the treasury, I do believe. We had an opportunity there and we missed out on it. We missed out on the opportunity to... Uh, to get a little bit more renown, which would have been good. But anyway, that's that's that that is done. Let's have a look at our uh, let's have a look at our industry. Now we have a Fletcher shop here. We have a uh, just a plain burgage plot there that can actually be upgraded. Let's upgrade that to level two. Uh, these can probably be upgraded as well. So we may uh, upgrade to it can go to level three. Oh, wow, I can't believe we're going to level 3. Upgrade to level 2, right there. And that one can't be upgraded to level 3. That one can't be upgraded, and that one can't be upgraded. Although it should nearly be able to be upgraded, because it does have absolutely everything that they need. Uh, these plots down here, you are level 3 there, which is good. You're level 3 there. So these are all level 3 houses, which is fantastic. Uh, some of these plots may be able to be upgraded at some point. Maybe we don't have enough timber. We don't have enough roof tiles. Right, so we're going to have to buy in some roof tiles, which is perfectly fine because we can go to the trader and uh, we can go into crafting. No, we can go into construction and we can... Uh, Desired surplus eight. So we should. And we've only got three in stock. So we should uh, be able to import those. Now what we want to do is. Once this is up to up to level two. Which we'll put on a, uh, a high priority. What we want to do is we want to get. Um, we want to actually get. Can we put another family in the, in the woodcutter's lodge? Probably don't need to. Probably the logging camp. Let's add two families to the logging camp. No, we don't need to because, yeah, it's probably more the forester's hut we've got two families in. And they're regrowing. At the moment, our logger's hut is out here. What have you got in regards to the area that you're working on? Let's maybe mosey over to that area there. I think which will be good. Uh, Saw Pit still has two families in it. So we've got some we've got some good families, but what we don't have is enough food. Uh, we can now um, we can now actually start throwing families in here. So this family here, you guys can work in the farm. This family here, you guys can work in the farm. Uh, this family here can also work in the farm. And this family here is, there is no family there. Is there a family there? You guys can work in the farm also. I'm going to get everybody into the farm to get all that done. Uh, and you guys as well. Because uh, we definitely have it, like we have enough people to be able to uh, really stick people in the farm what was that notification treasury change registered 167 we are so close to actually being able to um we're actually so close to be to being able to uh to add um another province but i don't think yeah he's already taken it I didn't even notice the notification coming up. So all of these provinces are done. We are stuck. But what we are going to do is we do have enough in our coffers now to actually start building up our second industry, which is going to be creating weapons and stuff. And that for us is going to be a huge, huge, huge thing. 
All right, so we're uh, so we're so we're trading bows. We should be trading bows now. Uh, we've got 158 bows. We want to order a new horse. I thought that I did order a new horse, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna throw. I'm not gonna throw another family in there. But what I am going to do is possibly look at throwing families in there. Our tannery's going all right. Uh, we don't have a family in there now because we have, we do have our ten sheep. So that's a that's a good thing. Uh, for our upgrade, we're looking at uh, we need ten level three burgage plots. Ten of. So what we want to do is we want to upgrade these as soon as we possibly can. Probably want to upgrade. There we go. We'll, so we'll keep bringing tiles in. Um, probably want to start upgrading these guys as well. So we're definitely going to need tiles. We're definitely going to need tiles. It's kind of like it's kind, kind of feels like running two villages. Do you know what I mean? Um, here we go. These guys are out doing uh, doing their plowing and all that stuff. So what I think we might do, uh, we don't yet. We don't have that unlocked as yet. Which is, uh, which is our heavy plow. Because I didn't want to unlock that here because we're not really going to concentrate on farming here. I'm just trying to get some malt happening. So, uh, but a communal oven would be a really good idea. So these guys are plowing. Uh, we could actually grow wheat on here. And we could probably grow wheat on, that's 18%. That's barley 29, That's so we don't want to... That's barley 18 and wheat 36%. The reason why is uh, because we can just have a communal oven. And a communal oven will be uh, perfectly fine. Or, um... What's that? Not enough stable space. Uh, okay, alright. Yeah, we need to we need to add stable space. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. I don't think we can upgrade these anymore. Uh, we've got two in there. We've got two in there. Got one stable over here, which has been upgraded. And that's two. So we're going to have to build a new one. And I think I want to keep it out where this industry is here. So we'll probably throw another stable spot in... Where's our logistics? Trade. Mining. Storage. Right there. So I think we'll probably throw that in there, I reckon. Let's put that up as a uh, as a high priority. Because we need that extra we need that extra hitching post. And then we're gonna have to upgrade it almost straight away. Now we didn't sort these guys out here. Uh, and your uh your working area. Oh, that's the saw pit, you duh. Yeah. Not the, uh, it's not the woodcutter's lodge. Alright, that's fine. That's fine. We did have another woodcutter's lodge here. Which, uh, we are going to have to set their area to here, I guess. Which is a fair way away, so I'm not overly happy about doing that. Um... But it is what it is. It is what it is. What we need is we need this uh we need this bow trader to come in. So why doesn't he have Why doesn't he have any weapons on board? Why isn't anybody buying bows? Because we're supposed to be exporting bows. Hmm. I don't know. It doesn't seem to me that uh, that they're when the traders are coming in, they're actually buying anything. Like the amount of bows that we have at the moment are just um, are just skyrocketing. Like 160 bows in storage. My God, 
That's so many. Large storehouse. You've got plenty of room. See, we've got 160 bows. Which is absolutely insane, to be honest. Um, but that's okay. That's fine. We've got uh, more family members. Is that a family member over here? Um, these are upgradable with the extensions. What I want to do is I want to change this burgage plot to um, making shields. Let's get that family in there. Let's start making shields and pumping shields out and use those as an export. Once we start having shields, then what we should be able to do is we should be able to reduce um, we should be able to reduce our export on probably firewood, I think. Because firewood, uh, the global market is oversupplied. So we'll keep throwing that out anyway at the moment. Uh, we might change that to 130 now. But we're going to remove that. We're definitely going to remove that. We're going to keep that at 25. Uh, that's okay at the moment. Uh, malt. What we're going to do with the malt is we are going to... There's an undersupply. So we're actually going to no trade that now. Or no trade that and I think bring barley in ourselves now um because there were six but if we bring some barley in we establish a trade route there and we bring in, we import uh, barley until we have like 30 in, 30 in stock. That might be a better way to do it at this point in time. I think. Horse, Herman. Herman the horse. Okay, so we've got four families. Uh, we've got four families that are unassigned at the moment. That's fine. Let's get some building done. Let's get some upgrading done of our houses and stuff because we do want to get up to uh, ten level three homes, which will be absolutely brilliant. Uh, we probably want to do this as a very high priority there, so that we can start making shields and exporting shields, provided we get the money. There's no beer at the tavern. No beer at the tavern. You're a level three. All we need is... See, every time we get a level three, we actually get two silver income as well, which is, which is brilliant. Food is an issue. Food is an issue. Now, over here, I've been getting this wrong. Um... I've been putting, when population herd drops to this number, workers will stop hunting. I've been putting in a higher number thinking, hunt this many. But what we need to do here is we need to go 10. And uh, because they will stop hunting as soon as, the, like there's only 40 animals in this deposit. As soon as it got to 35, they'd stop hunting. Which means that we're not getting the, uh, we're not getting the, uh, the resources that we need. These guys here are working in there. And we're going to upgrade that to level 2 as well. In that burgage plot. Now they're working in here. Do we bring another family in here? What have we got? It's a rich deposit. They're growing. Let's bring in an extra family. And bring those in as well. So... But uh, look at that. It's looking lovely. It's looking lovely. Uh, yes, again, thank you, Moon. By the way, just want to give a shout out to Moon, who um, uh, who makes some, some wonderful suggestions and stuff. I think I already did this episode, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So we'll get this one finished and upgraded as well. Um, 
yeah, everything's starting to go really well. I think now what we need to do is we need to uh, work our way into getting a uh, getting a good retinue up because uh, 12, 12 in your retinue here can um, they can actually take on um, they can actually take on quite a few people. So uh, I would like to do more taxing, but at the moment our uh, our regional wealth is going down. Now it shouldn't be going down too much because because we're exporting, we're importing roof tiles until we have eight, which I think is okay. We shouldn't have any more than eight at a time roof tile wise. We've got eight, so there's no point in that. We're importing these and that's going to cost us 60, right. Okay, so we're going to maintain 60 barley. Uh, Food-wise, we're exporting meat and we're maintaining 50 meat. We are going to need to make that 80, I think. We're exporting berries. It's not a good price for berries at the moment, but we're going to need to maintain at least 80 berries as well. So we've got no income coming in from that at the moment. Crafting materials, uh, we are, we can export, we could export wool. I think we might export wool and we might maintain maybe 40 wool at a time. That'll be good. Uh, and we're not trading malt, so really really the only thing we've got four months worth of firewood the only thing we're exporting those and we're maintaining 25 of those which at the moment is good so we should be we shouldn't be bleeding money though we should not be bleeding money to be honest we should be actually we should be actually gaining money at a rapid rate So there's another eight. Got the traders coming in. There's another 60. Got these guys coming in. Have we sold any bows? No, we haven't. That's a little bit of an issue, isn't it? We're going to get another one. These carts don't show anything in them either. It'd be nice if you could click on them and see what these guys have. Um, but what we should be doing is we should be, we should actually be um, bringing a lot of money in, a lot of money. Okay, the joiners workshop is done. I just want to see what this guy does. While we're at it, what do you do? You guys there? You can disband don't think he bought anything but we've got traders going in at 100 miles an hour this joiner here what we want to do is we want to make sure that you're making shields production focus um, don't know what shields to make small shields or large shields I wonder, I wonder what we, uh, let's have a look. Large shields cost two planks. Small shields cost one plank. What type of price do we get? Large shields we get six. Small shields we get five. We are much better off making small shields in there. Much better off. One plank, five coins, as opposed to two planks, six coins. So that's a huge difference. So what we're going to do in here is we're going to go back into trade and we are going to set up a trade route there with a little bit of our money and we are going to export and we'll always maintain four. Alright, beautiful, beautiful. 
food stall has gone up. Is there anywhere else we can go to level three? I think beer may be an issue. I think beer may be an issue. Although if we have malt now, do we have malt now? We do. Barley, sorry. So we really need to get this guy up and running with a family. So let's get that happening. Uh, so that we can continue to make beer. And then once we grow our own, once we get our own, our first crop of, uh, of malt, then we'll, uh, we'll actually cancel that trade. Uh, we do have a family in the granary. Nothing is stored inside. We can upgrade that to level 3. We can upgrade that to level 3. And we can't upgrade that because of planks. Okay, cool. Cool. Lovely. I think that's I think that's really really good. So once we've sort of sorted out all of this um, all of this trade and uh, and what we're actually going to trade and stuff now, if we could, it's a shame I didn't have a, a burgage plot that's uh, that's quite large and could fit two families in it. But what we want to do is we want to see these small shields go up. So uh, we also want to just make sure. So we've got enough, uh, we do have enough, uh, we do have enough troops in there. They have equipment missing apparent, oh no, it's just equipment missing because, uh, we can have 36 people in that troop. So, whether or not we, you know what we might do? I think we might, I think we might do it. I think we might do a bowman troop. I reckon. Yep. Good. Happy with that. Happy with that. We'll have a bowman troop as well because we do we we have so many bows. It's uh it's frustrating to work out why our bows aren't um aren't selling. So many of them. So we should be we should be bringing a lot of stuff in now we really really need to look at uh where are we we're in may so we're only it's only early but we really really need to look at uh making sure that um making sure that we've got enough food now what we want to do here as well is we we need to put in a uh in our industry is it our industry no it's not our industry Weaver's Workshop would be pretty cool. Uh, are we run, we've run out of timber. Because I've been spending it all, haven't I? Uh, what we probably want to do is... Uh, farming. There we go. Is we probably want to build ourselves a windmill as soon as we can. And a communal oven. Yes. Yes, we do. So that uh, our, our wheat and stuff like that, we can uh, will be fine. Uh, they are. Let's not. Again, we're going to need to be really, really careful of this. And the reason being is that um, if if this once this field gets to fifteen percent growth, then they'll harvest it. So what we need to do is we need to remove all of the families. From the farm once everything's planted <laughs> i know i know to prevent them from uh to prevent them from doing that from uh just harvesting everything really really early so which can be a uh which could be a little bit of a problem uh, i think probably once we've got all of this organized it'll be in our next episode that we're going to move over here and actually establish that region there and what we want to do with that region so uh, I just want to make sure that we get this production up and running really, really quickly. Really quickly. So, uh, he's a joiner. He's transporting. It would have been really nice. Maybe we could... Uh, maybe... I mean, this guy here is our Fletcher and he's just pumping bows out at 100 miles an hour. Um, the bows... The bows that he creates costs planks. A 
and planks are uh, something that we're sort of a little bit short of at the moment. And timber was something that we're a little bit short of, but we're okay for now. We're okay for now. We're going to have another chunk of money come out. I really am wondering what's happening to the money, though. You know, maybe there's something that I'm missing here, guys. Perhaps. Um, is there something that I'm missing? Um, because the only import... It'd be nice to have a, 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 a complete overview of this. But the only import we have is roof tiles. Ah, uh, yeah. That's probably where it's going, isn't it? It's like 80-something. Prices are higher than usual. How many, um... Got five upgraded houses. That's where that's where all of our money's going. Let's uh, do no trade on that for a little bit and build up some money, shall we? <laughs> I think that might be a uh, I think that might be a way to go. Okay, uh, and we're importing this at two a pop. So maybe we should maintain. I think that'll be all right. I think that'll be all right, and that's importing. We're not importing, we're exporting food, which we are going to need to actually stop doing soon. Not that we're not that we're actually exporting anything at the moment. We don't have a trade route for this, so but it doesn't really matter. Alright, so food is gonna be a thing. I think we might have to shut this down as well. Uh, we will continue at the moment exporting firewood until and exporting wool until we've got our uh, until we've got our other stuff established so um, and we want to export small shields which we haven't made any of yet <laughs> yes we haven't made any of yet but these war bows I don't know why I really don't know why we're not uh, why we're not exporting them. Let's watch this dude and see what he does. Is he heading into the trading post to buy them? I do believe that he maybe no. He's leaving the trade. Is he leaving the trading post? Where are you going? He is leaving the trading post. So they're obviously not... They're obviously not buying them. I think what we're going to do is we're going to play it smart and uh, in the Fletcher shop, we're just going to pause the Fletcher shop for now, I think. Um, I think we need to pause that. I think that's probably a good a good move. Uh, roof tiles, we can get some more plots upgraded here. That's the tailor's shop. They should be doing their thing. These are all. That's a level two. We can uh, we can probably upgrade you as soon as we've got some more planks. Where are our planks going? We've been doing a lot of upgrading and stuff, I guess. So that's that's probably the reason why. Uh, in here, I think sheep breeding might be a good might be a good place to to go. I reckon. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I I do like the ability as I as I mentioned previously. I do like the I do really really love the ability to be able to assign people in houses to specific jobs and specific roles. That's a really, really good thing. That crop is growing. That is at 4% now. And that crop is at uh, 4%. Lovely. Barley is all sown and is at 6%. And... Got no crop growth because they're actually doing that. So we're going to make it just in time. Uh, then we're going to remove all of those families. Right? We're going to remove all of those families and uh, they can go off and do other stuff. 
and then once these once these are sitting at a hundred percent then we will uh, we will get them to harvest so it's nice to have a little bit of farm around in the uh, in our next province over we're not only going to have uh, we're not only going to have uh, iron mining but we're going to have um, we're going to have a, a massive amount of uh, farms on there as well. We will import food and uh, grains and stuff from over here, which will be a good thing as well. Now, where's... Well, the King's Road goes straight through there, doesn't it? It runs through there like that. We probably want to run it. We probably want to, because it runs down this way, I believe. Yeah, it does. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to preempt that. And we're going to need to grab a little bit of road. Oh, it does run through here. Yes, it does. Yep, right through there. Okay, cool, cool. We don't need to worry about that. Just need that easy run. That easy, easy run. So... What we could do now is while we've got some money in our coffers, uh, we could actually start establishing that. But what I didn't want to do was I didn't want to do too much in this episode. I wanted to get ourselves to the point where we were um, where we were actually producing some proper shields and stuff, and uh, and and so, uh, with the ability to sell them. Unfortunately, we kind of don't. have any being produced now I'm not sure exactly why uh, we also need to have a look at what we've got here male armor uh, exporting doesn't matter anymore so we can go no trade on that war bows most definitely this one here export there we go he's only made one so it may be worth doing, it may be worth actually uh, creating ourselves yet another, um, yet another joiner's shop might be, a, might be a good idea. We can expand the living space on that too. What have we got? We've got living space for uh, 43 families and we currently have 39 I think. Uh, 39. We currently have 39, so... Okay, cool. We could expand that, uh, expand that as well if we wanted to. We're missing out on, uh, we're missing out on, uh, tavern stuff, so... I did put somebody in here, didn't I, in the, uh, in the malt house, didn't I? I did put a family in the malt house. Where do they live? They live so far away. My God, it takes them a day to get to work. Yeah, that's a bad thing. How are we going on our forest? Our forest is really, really tearing this apart as well, which is a little bit of a problem, but we do have 10 timber in there. We just need these planks as well. We've got two families working in there. We may need to add another family to the, uh, to the logging camp as well. And we may actually change the work area to here. There we go. Lovely. The other thing that we need to do is we did establish another uh, another hitching post, didn't we? There is our horse. What we want to do is probably upgrade that to a small stable. And start getting a whole come lot on, more a whole lot more animals mind. out there moving i mean what, what do we got animal wise at the moment uh do we have a readout of some sort there is an animal readout somewhere isn't there uh that that, that gives us an idea on on what what livestock we do have We've got a lot of leather, and we've got a lot. Of, are they? They're, they're supposed to be trading leather, aren't they? 
So what is going on with our trades? What's going on with our trades? Why aren't we... We've also got a lot of wool in there. Are these people come Establish a trade route. Dumbo. Hmm. Don't like the idea that there's uh, that there's higher prices for malt. So we've uh, we've shut that trade route down anyway, which is good. Uh, we don't have a trader coming in for that at the moment. We do have a trader coming in for firewood at the moment. But firewood, I think... I think firewood might be one to... Uh, might be a, a trade route to, to shut down, possibly. Now that we're starting to get a lot of people. A lot of people in here. So, how's our fields? Our fields are all growing, so let's go into here and let's remove everybody. Lovely. Alright, so we'll remove everybody from there. Uh, hopefully we are producing stuff in here. We can actually, we could actually probably add a family to that anyway, which would be really, really good. Uh, in fact, what we could do is get rid of that and we could add that family there. And we could add this family to there as well. And have them working close by. Um, again, thank you. Uh, I think it was Moon may have said it. Or Peter. I can't remember my apologies, but... Uh, but with me moving people around with these houses and stuff, then what's happening basically is um, uh, this is the reason why these stores are become these stalls are becoming abandoned. Because um, if I move a family out of you know the family who's doing the wood store, if I if I remove their hunters, if I remove them out of a hunting hut, then that store becomes abandoned. If you understand what I mean. So if I if I sort of change around their jobs and stuff, so they'll be super super careful of that. Super careful. We now have six houses that are uh, that are our manor. What's our manor doing tax wise? I mean, I would love to bring in some more tax, but at the moment, no. But we do need to uh, the percentage of surplus food. I mean, could we could we take that to 10%? Well, it doesn't really matter because influence-wise, um, it doesn't really matter because we've got no we've got no area to claim. Firewood. Um, yeah. So that's probably a little bit of a waste of time, to be honest. A little bit of a waste of time. We've got seven families just out doing bits and pieces. We'll keep our eye on this. We don't need people here. We don't need people here during the year. So, we need to avoid that. You see, that's at 9%. So, another 6% on that. And they would go in there and actually harvest it. Which is a, which is a huge, huge problem. So, we, we may need some... Um, we may need some offhand... Maybe we could do some offhand... Um, industries like uh or uh, or work building so for example when these guys aren't uh working in the farm they can work at the malt house we could have a little firewood stall here and when the farm's not running they could work in the firewood stall for a while um and then when the season comes into harvest remove them from there and add them to the uh add them to the fields for harvest and stuff i mean that might be a relatively smart thing to do um, just to sort of micromanage them a little bit and then always keeping people see the foresters I would like to know where I would like to know where the people live see over there 
and over there. Now, why have foresters in there hmm, when we could have them coming from these houses? Problem is, it's 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 way too difficult to it's way too difficult to control that. So, if you if you understand what I mean, um, is that mining pit there? Let's uh, let's start getting some of that in. Do we need to? We probably not. Ah, uh, yeah. At this at this point in time, we might actually throw somebody in the corpse pit as well. I think. And the only time you need somebody in the church is to bury um, when you have um, um, your soldiers that die. Now we did have soldiers that died out there, so maybe that's a thing. So, yeah, a little bit worried, a little bit concerned about this area. It's taking a while to, to do regrowth, so I think what we might do is we might bring a forester out here as well and add a forest, another um, another forester to here. Um, I think we might add another forester to here. And I may put them right in the middle here, like that, I think. Um, I might bring the road. I might bring the road through here, like that. Bring it through here, like so. And maybe even drop it over to here too. And then once that's established, we'll put a family in there and we'll reforest this area as well. Because, uh, I mean, we do have a lot of trees. I don't want to move my forestry industry out there. I want to kind of try and avoid it. Although eventually, when this, uh, when this town becomes huge and absolutely massive and becomes sort of more of a large town big city kind of place then uh, we are going to need to um, plank some thing now uh, we are going to need to probably start moving this industry right out into the bush and stuff so uh, how we go on there yeah he's plenty of animals there plenty of animals Doing better on food though. We've got three months worth of food in front of us. Um, three months worth of food winter wise is going to be a thing, isn't it? Um, so we need to consider also the ability to build our windmill now and get that uh, get that prepped. I think uh, is probably a, a good thing. We'll probably throw that. Where will we throw that? I mean, we could possibly throw that over here, couldn't we? But, I'm just thinking. We need... We need more... We need access to store our grains. So we're going to need another granary. At the same time, how big's the communal oven? Communal oven's not a bad size, really, is it? Having a communal oven right next to the windmill. Uh, having storage over here that stores only grains we go and have a look at our uh if we go and have a look at our storage here this granary here and we have a look then they're storing rye and wheat we could remove that hmm that might be an idea we could remove that we could actually put in another granary through here somewhere. 
maybe close by here. I don't want to take too much of this forest up. But if we were to put another granary... Let's maybe try this, I think. If we were to put another granary here... So, don't think we're going to get a road in there. There's no way, but that doesn't matter. We don't think it matters anyway. We could get a granary in here. A windmill in here somewhere. And a communal oven in here. But if we grab that and we go to there. Uh, what was it? Production? Industry? Where was our community uh, farming? If we could throw a uh, an oven, a communal oven in there. Throw a road into there. Road down to here. Just to make that a little bit easier. So we'll have the granary there. Although, are they going to have to move stuff all the way around? I don't know. Uh, and we're going to need to put in a windmill. A windmill needs quite a bit of room. And I would think, without completely destroying our forest, maybe over here might be an alright place for a windmill. Right there. Uh, that needs to uproot one tree... No trees there. Is there a spot there? There. Windmill there. Lovely. Alright. Um, just wanted to check something there. Okay, yeah, no, that's not that's not a good thing. Let's let's actually just demolish that. Because what I didn't realise is that there's an efficiency rating. For the windmill. But efficiency over here is like 88%. Over here it's 68%. Over here it's 75%. Um, let's just go into there, hold down alt and get rid of that piece of road go back to our windmill well, right there that gives us 77 percent that gives us 67 over where we were was 66 right over here and it's absolutely brilliant I'm going to throw it in here. I'm going to go with the I'm going to go with the 78%, right? I'm going to definitely go with the 78%. They will be able to come from there. They'll be able to deliver stuff to the granary which is under construction. Uh, it will only take grains and flour. And then the community oven will be able to grab it from there and start baking bread. I think that's a pretty good plan. And I think that's a, I think that's quite a good layout to to sort of try and keep this little uh, this little industry around here. Uh, our fields are sitting at 17%. See now they would have gone and harvested those. I don't know whether that's getting changed in the update, but uh, they would have they would have started harvesting all of this if we had people in the farmyard believe it or not so once they're at 15 percent looks like the uh looks like the barley probably no they're both barley i don't know why that tree hasn't been removed but uh there you go anyway guys I think there was a couple of things that we really did need to sort of sort out there and I think that's probably um, 
That's probably part of it, I reckon. So we're doing that, we're building that, check that out. Huh, love it. They're working their guts out. They're working their guts out. So we're gonna need to need more oxes and stuff like that as well at some point in time. So if these guys start grabbing all of this, then this again can be an industry that we sort of swap around a little bit. I mean the communal oven will probably be running all the time. The windmill once we've uh, processed all of the wheat will probably uh, be shut down over over winter and stuff and these farms over here will probably probably be shut down as well. I do hope that this bit here doesn't affect them you know not having this sort of connected to a road doesn't affect that too much and doesn't sort of slow proceedings around but they're all going really, really well. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this episode. I'm so, yeah, I'm, I'm so glad to uh, to to be back recording another episode. Uh, in the next episode, we're going to uh, we're probably going to look at the possibility of uh, of moving over and starting to establish our industry in here. We're going to have to take into consideration the fertility. We're going to have to take into consideration the uh, the iron deposit there and see if we can actually grow that area up. So, But I think it's going really, really well. What we need to do is we need to upgrade more houses to level 3 as well. I think that's really, really important. We could expand the living space there, so I'm going to do that as well. And that's going to bring two families in there, which will increase the output of, um, of the vegetables. So... There you go guys, granary is finished, we can uh, just throw it, uh, we can make our adjustments to that granary, where are you Simi, you're over here. Uh, we can make our adjustments to this granary and we can <laughs> probably remove meat, have bread, remove these, have grain, have flour, don't have herbs and not sure about ale at this point in time but rye and wheat most definitely bread most definitely grain and flour and then we'll put uh, we'll put a family in there as soon as we get these uh, fields done all right guys i will see you all next time again thank you so much for watching bye